Today we're going to make a riff on a classic, the Vodka Tonic. For this drink, you're going to need a Collins glass, a measuring cup, and a vegetable peeler. This drink uses vodka, tonic water, aromatic bitters, and a lemon peel for garnish. If you're a fan of gin and tonics, this one's going to be a hard sell. Like a lot of vodka drinks, this one's a derivative of a classic. Vodka was the original SEO manipulator, trading on the names of popular gin-based drinks that came before it, like the gin and tonic, the Tom Collins, the Greyhound, the Gimlet, and of course, the Dry Martini, just to name a few. That, vigorous marketing by companies like Smirnoff and James Bond, all helped vodka become the most popular spirit in America. This title belt has recently changed hands to whiskey, but that's another story. In the movies, James Bond seemed to exclusively drink vodka in the form of kangaroo kickers, what he called vodka martinis. But in the books, in addition to all the other spirits he drank, he took his vodka several different ways, including as vodka tonics. Feel free to use your favorite vodka. Although it was never specified in the books which brand Bond used to make vodka tonics, I like using Stoli 100. It's my go-to vodka for Bond drinks, because he always liked them strong. And although today's standard for most spirits is 80 proof, in Bond's day, most spirits were higher proof. Today's cheap modern tonic waters have an acute lack of bitters, but the bitterness is what makes it. And as Bond believed, the cheapest way to improve a drink is to use a quality mixer. There are several brands that make quality tonic water. Fentiman's, Fever Tree, and Q-Tonic are my favorites. It's cheaper by the ounce to buy a huge bottle of tonic water, but unless you're gonna use it all at once, it's gonna go flat and go to waste. So unless I'm hosting a party, I like to use the smaller bottles. Throughout the books, Bond has a couple variations on the vodka tonic. In From Russia With Love, he drank it with just two ingredients, vodka and tonic water, which is essentially just spiked tonic water. In Goldfinger, he had him with a slice of lemon peel. And in On Our Majesty's Secret Service, he liked him with aromatic bitters. He was onto something there, but never quite put the equation together. This drink works best when it's the combination of these methods. The slightly sweet bitterness of the tonic water, the herbal spiciness of the aromatic bitters, and the crisp, clean citrus oils of the lemon peel help elevate this to another level, one that can hold its own. We're gonna build this one in the glass, and we'll start with the ice. Next, we're gonna measure two ounces of vodka, add that to the glass, hit with a couple dashes of aromatic bitters, pop open your tonic water, and pour it in your glass. As with most highballs, there's no need to measure it. It's an approximation, and you want to keep as much carbonation in the drink as possible. Then cut a fat slice of lemon peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there you have it, the vodka tonic. Made in the spirit of the way Bond liked it. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.